I'm so excited. We're about to do a cohort. I love the setup I have today. These lights, I can put them in so many different places. Anyways, before we go any further, I want to thank you for your encouragement, your comments that you left me on the last video, kind of about me opening up about the opinion of man and me kind of tasting my own medicine, telling people, hey, it shouldn't matter, and then it just like debilitated me that week. Thank you. Like I have been especially discouraged lately. I feel like I haven't been making content that really makes you want to comment. So that meant a lot to me. I just want to make sure you know that I appreciate you. Let's, I don't know what today holds. I might have something crazy happening. My wife wants it to happen today. Babe, do you think it's going to happen today? What? <sighs> all I have to say each and every week, it's all we do if you haven't figured us out yet. Jesus is better. That's what we do every week. It is a blessing to have people start to put hate comments. Like it means you're actually doing something and it means you have influence. Like when I started preaching when I was 16, I never got criticism. I only got, wow, you're gonna be the next Billy Graham, you know, and all this stuff. And it was like, hey, and so I started thinking, I'm just great. But then you go back and watch the footage, you realize how terrible it was but people don't criticize you until they start taking you seriously, right? And so it's actually when they realize, wow, this person has influence and people are listening to him and, and, and that message either resonates or not at all, but they, it really shows that, hey, you're actually doing something and you're somebody who can be respected. And so I've actually found it, wow, praise God. I actually want more hate comments because I'm, I'm kind of tired of the pat on the head from everyone and just, you've just done such a great job, kid. Criticism is the cost of influence. I think Rick Warren said that, and I obviously preaching to myself from this last week. The negative comment really wasn't bad, but I, I was having a bad day. Monday, Monday, Monday. I'm so excited because finally, finally, the wife is letting me have complete control of the living room design space. What is my one disclaimer? What is your one rule though? You have to do it by yourself. I, the painting. I'll help you do anything else, but you have to paint by yourself. So last night she was just watching 24, which comment below, have you seen that? That is stressful. Just watch 24 as I was slaving away. Hey, I taped it off for you. And that's an annoying part, okay? I didn't have to do that. We might possibly be getting a new vehicle, swapping this in for something new. We've had some issues with it. We're kind of tired of paying maintenance fees. What do you think? There it is! Ah! That was a letdown. Uh, she wanted to pull the trigger. Oh my God. I said you are nah. So dramatic. And now we're fighting. Thank you for watching today's vlog. Hopefully, it's only three minutes thirty-three seconds. You're supposed to laugh right there. You told your dad. I was really smart and then you know Jordan just kept changing the equation. Don't ever talk bad about your spouse to the parents. Marriage one. Wisdom boom.